Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Gum Hello Me Over Speaking. If you're new here, hi, I hope you're here to stay. Just click the subscribe button and welcome to the fam. And if you're a returning subscriber, hi my lovelies, how are you doing? I hope you're great. We're gonna have some fun today. So this video is specifically for my DIY girlies and all the people that have been asking me to show them how I install my frontals. This is a paid partnership video. I did order it for myself and got it myself, but the video is paid for. Hair from Afri's Glimmer. So I'm going to be installing a 10 inch bob wig. So, firstly, let's look at the hair. It is absolutely beautiful. I love the texture. It's definitely giving Brazilian. So, you can trust my judgment for that. Frontal babe in it. It's got this elastic. So, I think that's for glueless installs. Yeah, it definitely is giving that. And yeah, man, I'm quite happy with like how it looks. I'm quite happy. And let's put it on and see. So my mirror is that way. So I hope you guys don't mind. My mirror. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Get red with me. Yes, well, well, this is how it looks. Hmm, quite different, yeah? <laughs> I'm not used to shoddy wigs. But I do have a... What's it called? A curly, natural hair, colored wig, frontal. Yeah, and I loved it. I know it suit me a lot. So I knew when getting this that, girl, it's time to try something different. Now, I don't usually go for straight wigs, so yeah. It is. Okay, there's the hairline. You can see. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I don't have time to pluck it and bleach it and all that stuff, unfortunately. But it already is giving the proper hairline because let me show you mine. A bit crusty, so. Here's mine and here's the wigs. Here's my side rinse and there's the wigs. So I like it so far. Things first, we're gonna have to put our wig cap on. We have to be very fast with this install, but you at home take it easy. I've done this like a couple of times now, so I'm taking you through. So I have this shade and then I just like put a little bit of makeup on. So we're gonna put a bit of okay that oh hey okay shop now i get right into all i need because look at that i look bald but it's fine we do see such things and then at the back there's my hair you're gonna have to tuck it in Dry, so make sure that it's dry so that it's like sticky and 
transparent and I just wish it's gonna look very untidy. So what I'm gonna do is Whatever I cut in the front, I tie it up on my ears. That secures the back as well quite tightly. So even though you want to do like maybe a high pony or whatever style you're going to be styling it, it will make sure that your hair isn't sticking out. Very important tip. And now I've applied the glue all over my forehead and on my sideburns. You can put a hundred a gram on it Anything I said, I stamp on it In a private plane, I lamp on it Let the old and call me bank on it Cause I walk around with the bank on it Show them Gangnam Star, put the gang on him Twist my fingers up on a bang on him Let the old, let the old, yeah Tobalo, I call my joy I did line it as much as I can with my natural hairline. As this week's hairline is a little bit lower, but nothing too intense. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut from the center, right? And I'm going to cut sideways. And you guys, here's one part of it. Cut it all the way. I did cut a little bit extra hair off, so don't be afraid to cut some with that hair. I cut it over here because like it was going this way mm -hmm. and clearly my hairline is all the way to the back so I can't really be natural and then I did cut some more on the sideburns and it was like the back of my ear because my ear wasn't going to be showing and what do you mean I don't have ears so I'm just going to cut the other side you can either use a knife or a scissor or you know those cut beauty knives or whatever but let's, let's, let's get back I did a really big chop here I've got a round face and I can't be having a square face because of this wig so I cut it off it was like this much I cut off the hair, I cut off the lace and now I'm using this um, skin tint lace tint in the shade dark brown medium brown I put my I used pantyhose instead of a wig hairband, hairband because that's painful and I find it like just gives you a headache, doesn't give it that lace wear type of effect. So, yeah. And then I think I wanna. I currently have 25 minutes to finish off my hair so I can get dressed and get out of this place. So, let's be quick. We're gonna style my hair with me while we wait for the thing to melt and everything. I still haven't glued down this part. Ish. I won't again as I I'm okay, sharp. Let me stop yapping. For today's hairstyle, I'm gonna keep it very simple. I just open the line of the middle, so I'm going to do the
war with you. Fire, fire.